Today is the day for getting real, and many people in politics are, although not all publicly, getting real about the situation with the 2024 election. Things are now moving very, very fast. So hold on to your butts as we launch into some of the developments of the last 24 hours. President Biden has, according to new reports, told a key ally that he knows he may not be able to salvage his candidacy if he cannot convince the public in the coming days that he's up for the job after the disastrous debate performance of last week. An aide, an, an ally, Anonymous, to be fair, said he knows if he has two more events like that, we're in a different place by the end of the weekend. So they're talking about a very constrained timeline. And some of those events that they could be referring to there include, there's an interview on Friday with George Stephanopoulos, as well as campaign stops in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Um, so those are the three events that are being thrown around. I don't think those are very similar things. First of all, Joe Biden does do better at these campaign stops, certainly better than in a place where he doesn't have the teleprompter and he doesn't have an audience. I mean, I think most people would do better in those sorts of situations. So I'm not gonna down on him for that. Uh, the interview with George Stephanopoulos, I think is gonna be a much more, that's much more significant. That's coming up in just a couple of days. And so we will see. Now, before we discuss this report though, I do wanna be clear. Uh, the White House is saying that this is uh, categorically untrue. This reporting is not true. Andrew Bates said the claim was absolutely false and that the White House had not been given enough time to respond. They said they were only given seven minutes, which I doubt that. But if that is true, then yeah, you do not give someone just seven minutes to respond. That said, if it's absolutely false, why do you need more time to respond? Just say it's false, which they did. The video will continue in just a moment. But first, I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com team and become a member today. Now, now is where I speculate, and then we'll discuss. My speculation is, if you have an ally behind the scenes that is vetted enough that the New York Times is gonna run with the story, revealing something that the president would have no reason to want to be public now, and then you have a campaign spokesperson saying that that report is untrue, you don't have to believe either of those, but I'm going to go with the, the, the revelation that would be damaging as being more likely to be true. Why would you why would you accept this as a spokesman? Why would you admit that this is true? If they are considering the possibility that they will step down, they cannot let that get out until it's announced. Because then it makes it even more likely that you have to do it. Um, and so they're denying it. They could be right. The reporting could be untrue. The ally could have some sort of, I don't know, agenda or something. Um, but that said, my belief as of this point is that that the reporting is true and that, that again, that doesn't mean that he's gonna step down. It doesn't mean he's gonna step down over the weekend or anything like that. But we know that they are being very careful about these next events. We know that there's a lot of focus on it. So this I think lines up with our understanding of the situation, but it makes clear that even Biden himself is now thinking about the possibility that he might have to step down, public statements to the contrary. What do you make of that, Sharon? Oh, the ally could have an agenda and it also could be true. And it seems likely I agree with you that it is true. When you have his family, I mean, just face value, they're allies. And they reportedly were speaking about this over the weekend, urging him to stay in the race. That means that there was a consideration that he was not going to stay in the race. He is and he should be talking to people he trusts who are close to them. That it leaked or one of those close allies told someone else who leaked it, which is potentially what happened here and then it was confirmed. It doesn't even matter. This is a horrifically chaotic time, and we got to figure this out immediately. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's behind the scenes, right around the president. Um, we also know that there's going to be some big meetings that are not going to be public. So people are going to be watching that Friday interview and figuring out. Is this now a trend with Biden that he's having a lot of trouble or will he give a better performance? So people will be watching that, but there's things going on behind the scenes as well. He's gonna be having a crisis meeting with Democratic governors. I don't believe that the governors that are gonna be there have been named yet. Some of them, by the way, are on the short list to potentially replace him. So that's an interesting meeting. And then also, uh, the top Biden advisor has reportedly ordered the White House to attend an all staff call. It is, my belief is that is probably, Morale booster, a call to hold the line, here's our narrative going forward. Some people will read into that like we're pulling the plug. I think it's unlikely that that's what that is, but it's not impossible.
Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.